In this video, I'll be showing you how to back up your computer. I'll be using FreeFileSync as opposed to some of the included software that might have come with your backup drive, just because FreeFileSync has a few more options. So just go to this link, I'll put it in the description, download it, and install it. First thing you need to do is create a new session, or Control N. The way this works is you have folders on the left and folders on the right, and you're going to synchronize the stuff on the left to match the stuff on the right. You're going to compare the two and choose what's going to happen to the stuff on the right. The one on the left is your computer or your source folder. You just drag it into here or you can click browse. And the one on the right, I'll be using another location on my computer, but if this is your backup drive, this is just going to be a different folder path. I'm also going to drag that. Now click the gear for the compare settings. I always choose file time and size. This means it will look for anything that has been modified most recently, and it'll choose that as the most up-to-date version. File content sounds cool, but it's not very sophisticated. I often just end up with conflicts. The synchronization is where you choose what you want to do, what mode you want to synchronize things. Two-way is exactly what it sounds. If you modify a file on the left, it will get copied to the right. If you modify a file on the right, it will get copied to the left. However, if you modify the same file in both places, you end up with a conflict, and FreeFileSync is not very good at merging those conflicts. That's why I choose Mirror. It'll look at the files on the left and update the stuff on the right to match exactly what's on the left. If you delete a file on the left, it will delete it on the right. If you add or edit files on the left, those changes will be reflected on the right. If you don't want to delete the stuff on the right, just add new stuff, you could choose the update method. Or you could create your own custom. Hover over the category to see what it does. If the thing on the left is newer, we're going to overwrite the thing on the right. And by the way, this custom setting right here is exactly what two-way does. But I often stick to mirror because it's simplest and most of the time what I want for backing up my computer. Delete files chooses what happens if a file exists on the right and you're supposed to delete it. Versioning will move those files to a different folder. Recycling bin will move them to your recycling bin, but if you're backing up your whole computer a bunch of times, you'll fill up your recycling bin pretty quickly with all those deleted files. So I often stick to permanent. Means if you delete a file on the left and a previous backup has the file on the right, that file will be completely gone once you back it up. Of course, you can choose what to happen with errors, and on completion you could turn off your computer, click OK to save these settings, and now click Compare. Since my backup location on the right is completely empty, the actions to be performed are all copied to the right. But see how you hover over here, it tells you the item exists only on the left, it's going to copy it to the right. So you click Mirror, and close once it's finished. Now if we go back to here, and I'll show you the properties of both of these folders, you notice that the size is the same, and they have the same amount of files. If you wanted to add more than just one folder, you click Add Another Folder Pair, and you could have as many of these as you want. But remember, the stuff on the left is going to overwrite the stuff on the right in mirror mode. Now I'm going to make a few changes. I'm going to delete a file on the left, I'm going to modify one on the left, and I'm also going to delete a file on the right. Now when we compare, you notice only three files appear. These are the ones with changes. If you want to see all the files, could click this, but for a large backup with tons and tons of files, this will just get overwhelming. This first document, this is the one that we updated. So it has newer contents, and the size is bigger, 5 bytes instead of 2 bytes. This one is the file we deleted on the right. It's going to recopy it from the left. And this action over here says we're going to delete the file on the right. Since we deleted the file on the left, we're also going to delete it on the right. So click Synchronize, and you're done. Now if you want to ever do the same backup again, I highly recommend saving the file. This will save it as a free file sync GUI file. All your preferences and the folders you want to back up will be saved next time. And as you can see, I have a bunch of different backups. This is so that you can back up different folders and files with different backup settings. And you could just name it and save it. I'm just not going to this time. You could also save it as a batch job. You'd just double click the file. You don't even have to open free file sync. It'll just run through the comparison and synchronization for you. Now what happens if you don't want to back up everything? If I create a new file, and I call it new, and I do the comparisons, but I realize I actually don't want to include this in the backup. You can click the little check mark to uncheck it, but that will only work one time. You can also press space. If you want to exclude it from the backup completely, right click and do exclude via filter. Choose the second option. Now you see if I compare, it's gone. The folder is still there, it's just invisible because free file sync is ignoring it. One very important thing is if you back it up once, and then you exclude something later, it won't actually delete it from the right-hand side. It'll just ignore it from future conversions. So if you actually want to make sure that it will never be backed up, you need to look on the right-hand side and delete everything manually. Or be very careful at the beginning what you think you might want to exclude. 
If I created another folder also called new, but in a different location, now when I compare it, that shows up. If I go into the filter settings, here's where the magic happens. The asterisk in the include section means include everything, it's a wild card. And by default, in the exclude section, anything here will be ignored. These first few items are some temporary files and recycled things that you don't want to back up. And right here is the path that we just excluded. However, this is an exact relative path. It starts in emulated computer and goes into the folder 1, and then goes into new and excludes it. If you wanted to exclude every folder called new, just delete one and replace it with an asterisk. This is a wild card. It looks at all the relative paths that end in the folder new and it excludes those. So if I press OK, see how this is grayed out? That means it's excluded. And if I compare this time, it's completely gone. If I copy these two files into a new place and paste them, now they appear as new files to be copied to the right. But say you wanted to exclude all files with a certain extension. These, I happen to know, are ODT and OTT. So you can just add a new rule, and with wildcard linking you can do quite a lot. Do asterisk dot ODT. The asterisk means the file name can be whatever it wants to be, but it's going to exclude that extension. That excludes the first file. You can also have multiple wildcards. If you wanted to exclude any file name that had the extension O something something something, you just add another asterisk. See, the pattern is matched. This file, which is OTT, it matches the conditions of the wildcard to be ignored.